Never Stop Learning, week 251. We're going to take a quick look at how to quickly transform patterns in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so we're going to be doing this by taking advantage of a modifier key along with our transformation tools. So the modifier key we're going to use is the tilde key. Now, if you're not familiar with that, I'm going to jump over to a browser. Here I did a quick Google search for a tilde key, and thanks to Bitbox, we got this image here. So in the upper left, you'll see that red circle, and that's what the tilde key looks like. All right, so that's on a uh, US English uh, keyboard. I'll come back over to Illustrator. All right, so let's uh, bring up some artwork so we could have something to play with. I'm going to hit the M key on my keyboard, and I just want to draw out a basic shape. So I'll just do something like this. I'm holding on the Option key as well. I release. So here I got this uh, basic object, and I want to fill this in with a pattern. All right, so over here in the window menu, I'm going to scroll down until I find swatches. Clicking on that once is going to bring up the swatches panel. And on the bottom left section, we have access to the swatch libraries menu. So click on that, find patterns, and you could use any of these patterns. I'm going to go with decorative monster patterns. All right, clicking on that is going to bring up the monster patterns panel. All right, I'll bring this guy over here towards the right. And the pattern that I want to go with is this guy right here, coronation. All right, clicking on that once is going to apply it as a fill because if you take a look over here in the tools panel at the bottom, I have the fill activated. All right, so looking at this, we have this pattern element here, and I'd actually like to move it so it's more towards the center of this object. All right, so uh, I'm going to set up a guide because I can see the center point here. I'm going to hit Command R on my keyboard, Control R on a PC, and that's going to bring up the rulers. Over here at the top, I'm going to click and drag down. All right, I'm going to drag it down until I see this uh, center point here and release. That looks great. I'll come back to the top, click and drag. This time I'm going to hold down Option or Alt on a PC and then just release once I get it to the right spot. All right, I kind of left it over towards the right a little bit, so let me try that one more time. Option, click and drag and release. That looks great. So. Now that I got my center point, let's uh, make a transformation here for this pattern. I want to move it, so I'm going to grab the Move tool. Hit the V key to activate the Move tool. Now you want to hold down the tilde key, click and drag. All right, so it looks like I'm moving the whole object, but once I release, check this out. We have this element right here in the middle. So you're able to make some really quick adjustments just by using that modifier key. So this does work with all your transformation tools. So let's check out scale. I'm going to hit the S key on my keyboard. That's going to activate the scale tool. All right, so I want to increase the size of this. So I'm going to hold down the tilde key, click and drag. And if I hold down the shift key, we're going to constrain the proportions. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and release. And there you go. So now we've made uh, that element larger, actually the pattern inside of that. Now keep in mind, if we don't hold down the tilde key, the transformation tools are actually going to transform your object. So here we actually made the, um, the rectangle larger. All right, so I'm going to undo that. Now let's take a look at rotate. So I'm going to hit the R key on my keyboard. Now check this point out that we have right here. All right, so I'm going to hold down the tilde key, click and drag, all right, and then release. Now notice we have that point over here by my cursor. All right, so tilde. Click and drag. I'll bring it over here to the 12 o'clock position. And then release. All right, so now you see this point over here at the top again. All right, so we also have access to shear. So if um, you come over here into the tools panel, you're going to find the scale tool. Click and hold. And in that stack, you're going to find the shear tool. Now, by default, there's no hot key to activate it. But if you want, you could always go into the edit menu and then add it yourself. All right, so I'm going to activate the shear tool, come back over here to my object. I'm going to hold down the tilde key, click and drag, and then once I get this exactly how I want it, I'm going to release. All right, so we created a shear, and you kind of see this going at an angle, and it almost looks like the element's looking towards the upper left section. All right, so I'm going to hit the O key on my keyboard, and that's going to activate the reflect tool. All right, so I'm going to hit the tilde key, click and drag. Now we're doing a reflection, and when I release, you'll see that the element is actually facing in a different direction now because we did that reflection. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at how to quickly transform patterns in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.